Not bad for a king, huh? Yeah, his strange pet thingy was cool. Let's go and find that Jimmy Wiggy then. Jimmy Wiggy. Jimmy Wiggy. Meanwhile... Sisters, time I lack. What's the plan to get my body back? Annoying your rhyming is, so stop it or we will not tell. Ow. If I must. So from this point on, Gruntail is not going to rhyme. BLB, this is Pickle Bluster built by Mink, Minji, and me. Life force from groans, plants and creatures, it can suck. Stored in big tank life forces. Shower Grunty will take, when tank full, then new body you will have. An evil and heartless plan, I like it. How long will it take to suck up enough life force? Not slim you are, so plenty will be needed. So start blasting! Patient you must be, target you first must pick. That cursed jingling has just given the furry fool a jiggy. I reckon we should blast the Jinjo King. Oh no, not him. Auto targeting BLB has, but you only have to puss. Press. Puss. Press. Oh no, what's it doing? Okay, we already know what it's doing, but still. Warped up BLB is, so begin will the firing sequence. Oh god. That don't look good. So firing its laser. Target BLB has hit. Steel life force, he will. Why am I suddenly talking something? Never mind him! What about that traitor jingling? <laughs> doesn't he have to be on your side to begin with in order to be a traitor? That doesn't make sense, Gruntilda. Oh god. Ugh. Ha ha ha! He's just a zombie now! Successful B.O.B. was! Jingling's life force, we have! Right then, girls! Let's blast the whole island! This we can do, but big charge up B.O.B. will need. Hours it will take, and revenge Bear will seek. Ha! I wouldn't worry. Banjo's got no one to help him now that Mole and Jingling are gone. He'll never get you get to us in time. Don't you mean Dingling? <laughs> Freaking Dingling. <laughs> Alright, so basically our next destination is directly ahead of us. This is Bottle's house. Bottle's house? He actually had a house? I thought he had like thousands of them throughout you know, throughout Spiral Mountain in Gruntail's Lair, but no, this is his actual house. I'll go ahead and pick up more feathers here. You can carry up to gold, uh, 10 gold feathers, so don't get too excited about having, you know, limitless supplies of these, because you don't. You don't exactly have that much, have that luxury. Alright. Oh my god. Hello. Hello there, Banjo. How are we today? Pretty good, Mrs. Bottles. And yourself? Oh, fine, fine. Tell her about Ghosty Boy. Keep 
quiet, Kazooie. What was that? Is Bottles okay? He should be back from Spiral Mountain for his dinner soon. He never misses his dinner, you know. Or I'm sure he'll be back soon, Mrs. Bottle. Mrs. B? Mrs. B. Uh, I wonder if I should talk to you again. I want to see, see if you say something else. Where has my bottles got to? I need him back here to deal with that monster in our bedroom. We've got to tell her, Banjo. Not now, Kazooie. Dang it. I thought they were going to say something funny. I know they say something really funny if you talk to one of their kids, actually, so we'll do that. But first of all, we're going to go ahead and deal with the monster inside their bedroom. Seems kind of very casual how she said that. It's like, oh yeah, I need my husband to deal with this monster it randomly appeared in our bedroom out of nowhere. <laughs> uh, wouldn't she suspect that something more, uh, more serious, more underlying is going on right now? I mean, think about it. Eh. Okay, so if you go down here and go down one of these two other tunnels, you'll run into Bottle's kids. Yeah, he actually has children. I mean, that guy we were talking to throughout the first game is teaching us all his moves. That guy has a has a wife and two kids. How cool is that? Hello, Banjo. Hi, Goggles. Since you and Daddy are such good friends, and I happen to have this DK, you know, Donkey Kong doll, I'll give you his prototype. Oh. Did he finish working on them by any chance? Oh yes, I believe they're called the Amazo Gaze glasses. How do they work? Well, when in Banjo's eyes view, use left C button and right C button to zoom in and out. Not bad. Okay. So now, whenever we go into first person view, we can zoom in or in and out, which is pretty nice. Kind of like a sniper view, sort of. And, uh, I don't quite remember what, uh, this is. I know it's like a rare wear character, basically from another franchise. But yeah, there's all sorts of, you know, crazy references you'll find throughout this game, but... The point is, Railroad loves to stick their face in their own games, which is pretty awesome. I don't have a problem with that. Hey there, Banjo. Hi, Specky. Me and my dad are going to be playing in the kickball tournament next week over at the Mayan Stadium. King Jingling has organized it specially for my dad since he's such a hero. Er, I don't suppose you have any substitutes? Why would we need substitutes? My dad is the best on the team. I'm sure he was, or is. <laughs> and did you know that tunnel over there is my secret way out of the village? You might find it useful. We already know that King Dingling is a personal friend of ours. He opened it up especially for us. Yeah, didn't you notice it happened in the cutscene? You were staying right here in front of the hole when it opened. Uh, okay. Uh, let's talk to you again. Hey! Talk to us again. Say, for example, that your dad had been terminally zapped by an evil witch's spell. How would you react? I don't understand. What do you mean? Oh, nothing. <laughs> okay, I thought... Oh, wait, 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 wait a second. Uh, I think it's the other kid you talked to that... Um, so I know it sounded more funny than that. How are the, the Meso Gaze glasses working out? I'm sure my daddy will be able to fix them if they're broken. But can anyone fix daddy? Well, why does he need fixing? Er, Kazooie means your mom is just fixing up his dinner. Oh, that's alright then. I was afraid you meant he'd been blasted by a fatal spell or something. <laughs> oh, man. I'm sorry, guys. I've been wasting so much time in, in, you know, in the village here and whatnot, but I, I'm, I can't help it. This game's just so fun, just to, you know, just to do this all, all this talking and find all this funny dialogue and whatnot. I don't know why. It's just one of those things that gets you immersed in the game, and that's what I love about this game. You know, games like this where you can talk, talk to characters and get yourself immersed in it, into it. I am Jiggy Wiggy, and this is my temple. If you want to see me, you'll need to get past my doorman first. Alright, seems simple enough. So anyways, yes, we are in another area of Isle of Hags. Now I kind of I find it kind of weird that the only two like the only two ways out of uh Jinjo Village was you know created by a huge mud you know one of the whatever the machine the uh 
what is it called? Oh yeah, the hag. That's what the machine is called that, you know, at the witch's drive. Um, that made all these tracks and, you know, made all those tunnels. And that's the only other way out of Jinjo Village now, aside from a, uh, you know, a secret entrance and a secret exit in Bottle's house and one of his kids' rooms. Um, I just find kind of odd that those, those are the only ways out of the village. Anyways, uh, right here we have our very first Jinjo. Yippee, you saved me. I'm off for home now. So as you can see, that was the first of nine black Jinjos. So basically, the way the uh, Jiggies work in uh, Isle of Hags is, for every um, every family of Jinjos that you complete, you get a Jiggy. Thanks for rescuing me. I live in this house with my with the rest of my similar colored family. Rescue us all, and we'll give you the family heirloom. Which always happens to be a Jiggy, obviously. But yes. Um, there's nine black Jinjos. But the thing is that every family has a varying number of Jinjos. One has eight, one has seven, one has six, one has five, one has four, and so on. So basically it totals up to like, uh... Uh, like 90 Jinjos, I think? I think. I could be totally wrong here. Um, I think it's like, uh, I don't know. I'll, I'll do the math like some other time, but for now, y'all, we're going to go ahead and enter Jiggy Wiggy's temple. If we can, that is. I am a lowly disciple of Jiggy Wiggy. I work the door of his sacred temple to keep out those who are not worthy. Sounds like fun. Do you think we are worthy? That depends. To prove yourself worthy to enter, you must collect images in the form of Jiggy Wiggy himself. And what might these images look like? Jigsaw pieces, also known as Jiggies. That sounds familiar. Let's see what you have then. It seems you have collected enough Jiggies to be allowed inside. Remember, no cameras permitted and only food purchased at Big Jiggies can be eaten within. <laughs> oh man, this game gets me every time, man. I wouldn't be surprised if I end up laughing at least once in every episode here. Alright, so this is Jiggy Wiggy's temple. Greetings, O Chosen One. You have entered the sacred temple of Jiggy Wiggy. Approach the golden monolith if you wish to prove yourself worthy. Okay, let's do that. Let's prove ourselves worthy here, because we are the chosen ones, of course. Press B when near the monolith to attempt Jiggy Wiggy. Ah, uh, you suck because you interrupted me. Okay, so let's do this. So remember that secret bottles puzzle we did in the bonus episodes of Banjo-Kazooie? Well now, we get to do that normally in this game. Let's complete the image before you if you wish to travel to where it shows. Use the control stick to guide your hand. Press A to pick up a piece. Once a piece is held, it can be placed down by pressing A or returning to return to the outside by pressing B. You only have a limited time to prove yourself. A Jiggy Wiggy grants you luck. So, um, anyways, yes. This is your method of opening worlds in this game. It's a lot more fun than it was in Banjo Kazooie, a lot more interesting. Because you actually get to complete puzzles here. Now, in this game, uh only the last puzzle is actually remotely difficult, at least in my opinion. Um, you don't really have to do a lot of twisting. I mean, like, eventually you'll find that you will have to twist the pieces around, and, you know, I guess you can't really do it here because you don't need to, but yeah. You get 100 seconds, and to fill in, like, five pieces here, so obviously it's pathetically easy. You have completed Jiggy Wiggy's Challenge 1, so now the Great One will show you the way. Now, to my knowledge, I believe there are a total of 10 puzzles you will complete here in this fashion. And there will also be a, a bonus puzzles afterwards, but those are, you know, just for fun and they don't give you any rewards. But it, but that's when they're especially difficult and as difficult as the secret bottles once in Banjo Zooey. Behold the power of the mighty Jiggy Wiggy. Be prepared to sit through this exact same dialogue for, for the next seven times you open worlds up. I'm not even kidding. Actually, nine times since there's a total of ten puzzles actually that you have to do. Yeah. 
But yes, every time the game cuts to another area of the game, it's gonna freeze for a couple seconds, and then it'll and then it'll cut to that next area. It does it tends to do that a lot, and you'll get used to it. As you can see there, the first roll is directly outside Jiggy Wiggy's temple. You do not have enough Jiggies to attempt Challenge 2. Come back later when you do. Fair enough. Fair enough. Alright, so, everyone. We now have opened the first roll of the game. So we're gonna go ahead and exit Jiggy Wiggy's temple here. And we'll go to the entrance and it'll end up this episode. This is actually the first recording session I've had of the game, so... I've been recording for like 42 minutes here, so I'll probably get like one or two episodes out of this. Well, probably two episodes and an intro, or just two episodes in general, because I don't know how I'm gonna split this quite yet. Um, but anyways... Yes, I'm very excited to get on, get on with this Let's Play and get into the meat of the game, which we're about to here in just a moment here. As soon as we enter the, world, the first world here. Um, but yeah, thank you guys so much for joining me on this adventure. I'm very much looking forward to it. Um, yes, obviously I'm starting this exactly two years after I finished Banjik Suis, because, uh, the first step, the final episode of Banjik Suis, the finale part two, was posted on June 20, 2015. And the first episode of this, or the intro, was uploaded on June 20, 2017. That is no coincidence, I purposely waited two years to play this, to let's play this game for you guys. Just so I could, you know, follow the continuity of the game, which is pretty cool. Uh, but anyways, once again, uh, see you guys next time for some more Banjo Tui. Thank you so much for watching. Goodbye. And in case you're worrying about the upload schedule, it's basically gonna be every other day next to Legend of Zelda Wind Waker. Thank you so much. <laughs>